Hey, hey, hey. It's Monday. Yes, I'm jumping on at a different time. How is everybody this morning? What a beautiful weekend. I kind of got lost up in the whole Sunday and Mother's Day. Hope everybody celebrated some kind of mothering. But come on in and join me. We have such an incredible week this week. I wanted to talk a little bit about it and what was going on and pick a few cards. The energy is going to be a little bit shifting and changing, so we need to really be aware of it and find out what we can do to help ourselves move through this time. So come on in and join me. I know it's early. I've just finished my meditations, but I wanted to jump on and go ahead and offer this energy focus for this week. Come on in. Take a few moments if you can, or maybe you'll catch this a little later today. Really important that we focus our energy for this week. We have some big shifts coming up. Today, we're actually sitting in dark of the moon, so you may feel a little bit of that shadow energy for yourself. You may feel a little bit of self-doubt or unworthiness or what am I doing? A lot of that energy is coming forward today as we're in this dark of the moon. We bring in the new moon tomorrow, and that even has some shifts in energy of it going on as well. We're also talking about, and I've been reading a lot about Uranus. Uranus is shifting up and moving and shifting, which is really, Uranus is a big planet. It's expansive, and it's going to be shifting signs into Taurus, which it hasn't done for a while. So that's one of the things I've been kind of reading about and finding very curious right now. We have lots of planetary influences, some of which we don't always know about. Hey, Millie, hello. But they're starting to help affect us this week, and we're going to see it, even in the collective consciousness. So really, the energy... For this week, there may feel like a little bit of um, like anticipation, like you're waiting for something to happen, like you know there's a shift coming. So it's really going to be a little bit pulling on us to want to like do something, be out there, push. But really the energy is to sit back and really ground. That's the theme for this week, is to really ground your energy and to find a way to pull all that anticipation inside, really, and open up to what it is that you need to do and you need to focus on. I know lots of times um, we talk about the new moon and planting seeds, which it is a good time to set that energy. We always have a new cycle beginning with the new moon. But really, this new moon is really kind of be about kind of like that weeding out. Back to that decluttering, right? We can't ever have too much of that. But kind of like, too, like, you know, we all planted seeds, maybe did beginning of the spring, even in January, but now's the time to kind of go through and weed out, weed out what really isn't working. And that's really kind of where we are right now. Really do that. And in the physical world, you can do that by cleaning up, by decluttering, by letting go of old papers and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and share this out. Maybe you'll do the same. I know I'm on at a different time. Let me just do this. Other people can find me. How's it going for you, Millie? What are you noticing right now? Have you seen this energy? Are you feeling this energy? I guess is really the better word. Are you feeling a shift of energy? Really important that we open up to this and really kind of know how to really work with our energy. Really important instead of trying to do everything all at once. I know I can do that sometimes too. Lots of shifts. There you go. Yes, we're definitely moving through lots of shifts. All right, there we go. I shared it out. Very important. I know for myself, and this is part of the reason I'm kind of late today. It's not really late, but I've been doing a lot of my own inner work, really moving through some of the things that are going on in my life, some of my health problems, which are really actually very happy, starting to clear out, starting to move forward. But it's taken a lot. It's taken a lot of time for me to sit all right, how to sit and be there. All right, Millie, come back and join us later if you can. It really is taking time to sit and to really understand what is going on inside, right? And I know for myself, I'll be sharing a lot more of what I've been doing and some of the healing that I'm going through and actually some of the results that I'm seeing, which is really just shifting my life as well. Really important. And that's what we're in right now. All of this energy, big week this week coming up. So yes, you may notice today those feelings of being alone or isolated, but go within and open up to a way that you can start to shine your light and start to relate to others. Really important. I know for myself, this is hard too. I get into where I'm doing this work, which is really great. But finding ways to really kind of then shine from within. And that's really what we want to start doing. Instead of being out on the surface, pulling it in and opening it up that way, which is really what we need to do. All right. So as we go through this week, today again, dark of the moon. So you may feel a little bit of... Um, 
little anxiety or a little bit of that darkness around you. What am I doing? Who am I? You may be feeling that. All right, as we move into tomorrow, new moon, it's still a good time to set intentions, but do a little cleaning up of stuff. All right, do a little bit of tending to what you've already set. Clear out what isn't working. Really important this week as we do that. Know that we're also going to be shifting into that um, cosmic energy. Lots going on. Again, Uranus is shifting, and that's a big, expansive planet. We've also got some energy with Saturn and Mars. All this stuff is churning up, and so we don't necessarily have to know it all. But when we know that there's cosmic vibration coming in, when we know that there's a shift in energy, we want to ask what it is. We want to find out where it is in relationship to ourself and what it is collectively. Because this is actually, Uranus is a big collective planet, big expansive. So collective consciousness is going to be shifting a little bit too. So really important that you tune into that as well. All right, Thursday, we're going to feel a little bit better. As we move into the weekend, we're going to feel a little bit more mellower. Moon's going to shift some more too. And we're going to be able to kind of harness a little bit better of this energy. But it is a week of really, really being sure to ground. It's going to be easy to get out of your body. It's going to be easy to stay in the mind. And we really don't want to do that. We really want to ground our energy, work with the energy that's around you, weed out the excess energy, all right, especially all those new intentions, really do a little clearing and decluttering, really important. All right, instead of just going, 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 spend some time with yourself, spend some time outside, really ask some big questions because that's really what is going on. And I know for myself, this is what I've been dealing with these last six weeks, really looking at what is on the inside, what is churning up inside of me, what am I holding on to? And that's what's really important. Really finding ways to let go of some of that excess energy, some of that stuff that you just don't need. So really important to come to your spiritual practice. How many people have spiritual practices? Yes, we really, really need them. Very important so that you can face the challenges in your life, whether it's work or health or relationships, all of these things. Having that spiritual practice is going to help you to know better who you are, to know your energy and your boundaries. We'll be talking about this some more. All right, last week on the Empowered Spirit Show, I talked about Reiki and Reiki, how much it can help you in your transitions in life. All transitions, really important. We've got the Reiki Summit starting on the 21st. It's coming up. I've got the link in the show notes. So if you haven't signed up for it, it's free. You can join in. And if you go ahead and sign up now, you can go ahead and get an idea of all the different speakers. There's so many every day. So you probably can't listen to it all, although I think you can purchase the recordings if you want. But go ahead and check people out. Lots of interesting information. If you have friends that are always wondering what Reiki is, send them this link. Share it out. Reiki Rays. It's an awesome summit coming up. So many talks and lectures and information. I was looking through it myself last night. Really excited to be a part of it. So be sure to share it. Join in. It's complimentary. De definitely check it out. The link is in the um, feed below. All right. So that's what we have going on. This week coming up. I'm hoping to get out the episode with Pam Moore, who talks about her spiritual experiences and what they did to help her really, really move through recovery in her life and how she has just gone on to do so much more. Very fascinating in her, her own story and how vulnerable she gets in sharing it and the method with which she opens up and now works with others from the Moore Institute. She has a brand new book out that's really very good, very good for anybody that's working with addictions, anybody that's moving through trying to recover from addictions. So that'll be coming out this week. Check it out as well. All right, so today our meditation is about grounding. So let's just take a few moments. I know everybody's trying to get ready for work and all that stuff, but maybe you'll be able to join in a little later and ground your energy. That's the most important thing you can do this week, really feeling that connection. So let's just take a moment, <clears throat> wherever you are, take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Whenever you're listening in, take a few moments, opening up, inhaling and exhaling, sending that breath all the way down deep into the earth. Feel the feet on the floor, really important. As you inhale, feel that connection with the earth come up through the feet and the legs, up into the heavens. And as you exhale, pull that breath back down deep into the earth. Feel that connection. This is how we ground. Feel that connection with the earth. Inhaling, opening up that breath. Bring in the spiritual body right in alignment. Pull it in. Most of us are way out there. Just pull it in. Feel the energy coming in. Feel that centering right through that alignment with the body. Inhaling, opening up the breath, exhaling, pulling it all the way back down deep into the earth. And just take a moment and call in, call in your higher guidance. 
Call in the masters. Call in your guides. Call them in as you go through this week. Ask. Ask to help them uncover what you need to see. Ask to be grounded. Ask to be protected as we move through this week. Take a deep inhale. And exhale and just feel yourself coming back to center. Feel that energy pulling in. And just taking a moment and honoring with gratitude all the many things going on in your life. Gratitude for the season of spring. So we're moving towards the end of it. Looking to the direction of the east where the sun shines, where these new beginnings happen, where all that infinite potential lies. We honor this in the direction of the spring in the east. We honor all the directions, the south, the west, the north, above us, below us. Feel that center for yourself. Feel that center as you ground your energy. Inhaling and exhaling. Pull the energy in. Know that you can come back to this at any time. This is what we need to do all week. Ground our energy, slow down, and be centered. Taking a deep inhale. And exhale. Coming back. Just noticing how you feel. Noticing how the energy pulls in. Really important as we move through this week. All right, I know I just posted the cards a few minutes ago, but if you're looking at this and you haven't chosen a card, you can listen to the whole reading or you can choose one for you. All right, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. I know, I feel it. All right, <clears throat> so anyway, the first card that comes up is a really beautiful card. It's a great card for everybody. It's the Ten of Pentacles, which is all about abundance and just that bringing it in and abundance and fulfillment and doing your work, which is really great. However, it was reversed. All right. So when it's reversed, it reminds us that don't overlook what you're doing. Don't take for granted the things that are working. All right. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Turn this around. All right. Sometimes we can get into complaining about what we don't have. I was talking about this yesterday. Complaining with what we don't have. Remember what you do have because there are lots of things that are working. So don't let the dark of the moon energy, don't let all this shifting of energy throw you off this week. Feel the gratitude for all those things. Look, it's the pentacles. Look at all those pentacles. Look at the colors. All right. A lot of her cards are all black and white. Look at how many beautiful colors. So this is for all of us to remember. Offer gratitude for what is, what is working in your life. Don't focus on the negative, all right? Focus on what is working. All right, now the other cards that come in are a little bit of influences on how you can turn this around. So we have the Eight of Cups. Now this card, this card reminds us of, it, it, look, these are all broken, all right? So this reminds us like this energy, this emotional energy, this heartache, it's done. If there's something in your life that's creating it, it's done. It's over with. Let it go, all right? Let it go. It's not coming back. I know it's a hard card sometimes, but this is stagnant energy. This is like you have to move energy out in order for you to come back around, all right? So this is time to let this go. Do some healing, all right? Move that darkness out. Refresh. This is exactly the energy of today, that dark of the moon. Sometimes this can mean your physical energy as well. So check in with it. Where can you move energy out? This is why we need Reiki. This is why we need our energy practices to help move all this energy out. And maybe this is what is stuck from you seeing this. All right, really important to work with this energy and move it out, move it away. Do some healing, check in with yourself, run your energy. That's all that stuck energy. The emotional energy is done, all right? That hurt is done, let it go. No emotion is ever final, so send it away. All right, the next card, number two, that comes up this is the Four of Swords. All right, this is all about going within. This is exactly the card we need this week. All right, fours are about balance. All right, this is this is Swords. So don't get caught in the mind. Don't get caught up in all that stuff. See how it's hanging above? See the third eye center here? Here? <laughs> all right, allow yourself to go within. Really open up to your meditation practice. This is why we need this. So you don't get caught in the chatter of the mind. You don't get caught in all of that negative energy. And again, that's what we need to turn this around. Really gratitude will help with that. So really focus on meditating this week. Focus on slowing down. All right, really important. I know everything's speeding up and school's ending and all that kind of stuff. And I know there's a lot of activities going on, but make sure you find time to do this. I know for myself, this has been one of my greatest gifts, three times a day, slowing down. And I know I want to get out of that too because work is picking up, clients are picking up, right? But really important for me, really important for all of us to do that. 
and that will turn that around and bring in more abundance. All right, and this is a little bit of a sad card, the third one. No one really likes this when this comes up. It's a three of swords. All right, even this shows us like there is some healing that has to be done. All right, and we can only do this within. This is the healing that we have to do. Nobody can do this for us. All right, and this also kind of represents a little bit of the sword energy, the mind energy. It also kind of like, sometimes we even find like that threesome energy where there's a third party involved, all right? So yes, this is a hard card, but this is where that healing is really important. So if you have trouble taking time for yourself, this is why you need it, all right? Really allow that energy to release, let go. What is the healing that needs to be for you? All right, and again, it's of the mind. So really finding the time to meditate, all right? Finding the time to release that stagnant energy so that you can come back to this. The abundance, all right? The beauty in your life, that, that all of that stuff that is working for you, bringing that in, the fulfillment, that is really a great card. So as you go through this week, yes, it's gonna be a very interesting week with the cosmic energy, new moon coming in, all of that moving forward. We're shifting towards the end of the season. So we're having all of that wheel is turning, right? The medicine wheel is turning. All of that energy is moving. So the best thing that you can do really, instead of moving faster and faster, is slow down. Ground your energy, just kind of keep that in the forefront of like, this is the week to ground, this is the week to return to my spiritual practice, this is the week to run my energy, so that you can come out of it fresh and alive, right? Really important, and you'll see shifts, you will. So be careful, watch out for the collective consciousness, notice the energy that's going on all around you, but slow down for yourself, take time for you. Really important this week with all these big shifts coming in. Check out the astrology reports. There's so many out there. And even, I know the Vedic astrology was talking about a lot of fire energy coming forward to help burn it away. All right, I know that. I haven't seen Mystic Mama's report yet. It'll probably come out tomorrow. But yeah, really important. I know Armand's report came out yesterday and he was talking too about the grounding and the Uranus energy. So really important that you open up to this. Hey, A, I'll see you this week. Really important that we take time for ourselves all right, and I know it's speeding up. I know there's so many activities. I know this like next weekend, like so many things are going on. So prepare for that this week by really taking your time for you. All right, don't get caught in the shadows, dark of the moon today, all right? Don't get caught in that, move the energy out. If you don't have tools, if you don't have tools, there's really no excuse anymore. There's so many possibilities. There's so many teachers around. Even in our area in Birmingham, there's so many teachers around. Learn Reiki. I have a Reiki class coming up in June. Learn to meditate. Learn to breathe. Really important. Learn some kind of crystal energy, sound energy, something that's going to help move that stagnant energy away so that you can find that purpose for you. You can know your soul energy. Really important as we move through these times. Really important. We're going to see this big shift coming up for all of us. All right, so the best way to prepare is to ground and take time for yourself. That's our theme for the week. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Checking in, let me see. I see a few of you on. I know I'm on a different time this morning. Just got caught up in the day yesterday. Beautiful weekend. All right, guys, check it out. If you didn't hear the podcast last week talking about Reiki, and I'll be on this week talking about one woman's spiritual experiences and how she has really changed her entire life. Her book is very vulnerable. So I'll be sharing that this week as well. And talking about things, talking about what happens when we don't open up to our gifts, how we uncover or how we hide many of our gifts when we turn to addictions. All right, we'll be talking about that. So check in with you. Let me know how you're doing. Post in the group. If you're not in the group, come join us. Be sure to share that link for the Reiki Summit. So much information coming up. It starts on the 21st. Yes, yeah, share it with those that are interested in wanting to know more about Reiki. Really a great summit coming up. Lots of great teachers and lectures and interviews and giveaways, you know, all that. You know how summits go. And if you don't, all you have to do is join and just download each day. Go in and watch it each day and you'll learn lots of information. All right, have a great week. Be careful today, dark of the moon. Open up to the new moon tomorrow. Clean out. Do your weeding, right? That's kind of where we are. Open up to your spirit. Tap in, slow down, and ground. That's our message for this week. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.